Hey guys, I'm Jalicia. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Over here, I talk about beauty, fashion, lifestyle, and handbags. So if you're into that, keep on watching. So in today's video, I am going to be talking about some summer trends that I've been seeing. Some of these trends I like. I think it's fine to incorporate into your wardrobe. And some of these trends is just way too trendy and just a lot so let's get into it so and this is in no particular order I'm gonna be going through the likes and the dislikes but it's not gonna be only likes only dislikes it's just gonna be kind of like all over and random so the first thing is gonna be boxer shorts so at first I seen it and I really liked it but then I'm thinking I'm thinking you know like I'm like I'm like I'm trying to see and I'm just like I, I think it's just too trendy I don't know if it's gonna be a thing thing I think casually I think wearing it casually is gonna be nice but I'm seeing that like some people are wearing it with like kitten heels and like stuff like that boxer shorts you wear this with some sneakers and a t-shirt call it a day like so um I think I think that it depends on where you are I feel like it depends on where you are. I, I I do like it though, but it's definitely not something to dress up. It's definitely something that you wear casually with some sneakers. Yeah. I feel like it, it can get away with being something this summer or next summer. But then I just don't know what's going to happen after that. Should you buy it? Should you invest in it? I don't know. I think for me it's a no. I think for me it's a no. I do. The next thing is leopard. So leopard pants is a big thing. Leopard pants. Um, I think this trend is cool because I feel like leopard and cheetah like this stuff always comes in and out. So I feel like I probably won't do leopard pants but a nice leopard long skirt you could do and I feel like that's like a personality like in itself so the leopard is trending but it's it's definitely like a kind of personal style and personality I wouldn't do leopard pants though I would do like leopard dress, like a leopard dress. I feel like that is very classic and, it, and I feel like it's really timeless. And it's one of those things that like you can you can buy it, you can put it away for like three years, it comes back. Like it I feel like it's one of those styles that rotates a lot more frequently than the other styles. So I feel like leopard you can get away with. I wouldn't do leopard jeans though. So leopard jeans, are like leopard jeans or leopard pants, those are, it's too specific. You have to, if you're going to do trends and make it sustainable for yourself, because I, I don't buy trendy items and this is not a trendy item channel. This is a um, quality over quantity channel, okay? And we like incorporating or I like telling you guys how to incorporate trends in a long-term wear and feel. So, no leopard jeans, but leopard dress or leopard um, long skirt is my, is my thing, is my opinion. Next thing are the mesh ballet flats. Or the mesh like Mary Jane shoes. Just like the mesh shoes. Not gonna lie. I seen a pair that I really liked. But that's why. And see that's why. You really have to. Like I said in my other video. You really have to know your style and everything. I really loved. The mesh shoes from the Reformation that they have. I thought it was so nice. I'm like, oh my god, I could wear it with so many different outfits. But this is like a trend. Like this is only going to be here probably for this season. And like maybe next season if you're lucky. But this, it's, uh, it's like a trend. Like it, if it's not long term. It's not long term at all. It's, it's a really nice trend though. But it's absolutely not long term. 
if you're looking for something that's like kind of trendy but something that's also long term i would say the chanel ballet flats those are something that were like trendy um last summer they were very trendy but that's something that is also a classic like you can wear especially like the ones in like the bright colors like i feel like the green the blue if you wear those with like jeans or something and like a top like you can like dress it up dress it down like that's like classic but that was trending last year but that's a very classic style the mesh flats it's a no it's it's really nice but no just I wouldn't buy it and and trust me I think I added it in my cart and I really had to I had to be like nah nah Jalicia this is not mm -mm. I'd rather just buy like some strappy heels or something like that like some strappy kitten heels another thing that seems like it's like a trend like instead of the chunky heels like the chunky style it's now very low very flat very strappy but in my opinion as a New Yorker, that was always a thing because who's going to come to work in like big high heels? So kitten heels, like strappy kitten heels were like always a thing in my opinion. But like I I do see like actually like flat flats are now more of a thing. So like sandals, so like strappy thin flat sandals are a thing. I feel like that's like amazing. Like if like yes for me that's not even a trend for me it's like okay they're getting off the chunky and now they're doing this but that has always been a thing especially like for some females who just are over like heels like even like a three inch or like a four inch heel too high like they need like kitten they need something strappy so if it is a trend then it's it's a yes for me but it's it's not a trend it's it's a classic so that's something that you can definitely hop on another thing capri pants absolutely no it's a no it's a no it's a no last time capris was in trend was when i was in the fifth grade capris no ma'am no ma'am no ma'am and that's that's a super trend that that's nothing long term absolutely not it's a no Another trend that I love and I think is so great and I think it's also a classic and I feel like it doesn't even only even have to be for for summer. It can also be for other seasons because it's just that nice pop of color. But the colorful sambas, like I think that the like it just like puts like a smile on my face. Like it's it's so nice and I feel like it can give any outfit that little funness to it so it's very easy to style and it's something that you can wear for multiple seasons um it's not only just for summer in my opinion and yeah I feel like I feel like this is a good trendy item but this is something that you will really get your wear out of as well and it probably just won't be sitting because they're colorful sneakers and like who hates a colorful sneaker <laughs> but I really I really 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 like this trend so another thing that's trending are the bubble hems um yes that's that is very much a trend it's very cutesy like it looks very cutesy very like um like um polished artsy um and it is they are cute they are cute and it's and it's a very specific aesthetic and I think for those people who that is their aesthetic I think that they can get a lot of wear out of it but I feel like that's like a specific person like a specific kind of style um so that is something that I do not recommend to incorporate in your wardrobe that's not going to be long term at all um unless you just know that like that's your style and you like you're with the bubble hem but I don't think so I feel like instead of a bubble hem you can just get like a pair of linen shorts um yeah but I feel like between the bubble hem and the boxer short trend I feel like you can do more with the boxer short trend like that would be a little bit more long term than the bubble hem the bubble hem is very specific so another trend is the tie shirts in the middle 
I really like that. That was actually something from like last year, like a year and a half ago, because I even have a have a top from them. I'm pretty sure it was like a year and a half ago. Um, and so it wasn't poofy. So it was front tie, but it was without the poof. But these tops are front tie with the poof. And like, I love when there's different, um, I would say, just like different attributes to certain pieces. So it's the it's the the front tie, and it's like a poofy uh, shoulder, and kind of like a kind of like a baby doll, kind of like bottom. I love like all of those variations in one top. I really, really, really like this kind of shirt. I feel like it, it's something that I would just buy maybe one of because I do like it but then I also do know it is trendy but I do feel like you can get away with wearing this for a couple of seasons just because I feel like the poofiness so like poofy like I, I love a dramatic shoulder a poof shoulder like I love that just in general if I were to get a tie front poof blouse I would probably wear it for the next like three summers because because yeah because I like it but but would it be super everlasting and a staple in my wardrobe no it would not so I would have to kind of like eat that in my conscience but yeah but I really do I really do like this trend I do I do like this trend and it is a trend Another trend is yellow. So I did speak about this in my last video. I love when colors are trends because if you really relate to that color, it will be something that can be a staple in your wardrobe. So for example, like I already said, I said like a bunch of times, I love my silks, my satins, my linens. And this um, yellow linen set right here, I think is beautiful. So it's a silk top and it's a silk skirt and I can wear and pair those things with other tops or like other bottoms. So that is a trend that I feel like you can easily groove into, into your style and into your clothes. And that's like really one of the easiest trends that I think is, um, just like easy to hop on and incorporate if you want so I'm loving the yellow trend and I'm just like I, I love how yellow looks on my skin and I just love that these brands are now making more things in yellow I think it looks gorgeous so beautiful yellow is gonna be the new neutral the last thing that I'm gonna say are matching sets so matching sets has always been trending but it's these like specific kind of like coquette kind of style with the lace sets those they look nice but I'm like this is definitely a trend and I feel like this was this reminds me of like years ago when I was younger it's still nice but I'm like it's definitely a trend so with the matching sets I would say getting sets that aren't trendy getting sets that like it's going to match your style and it's just not super trendy and pieces that you can mix and match like with with other stuff. So I'll, you know, I'll give you guys an example of like kind of like what I'm talking about when it comes on to sets. But yeah, like the kind of specific style sets are trending. Um, I wouldn't invest in those like specific kind of styles because it's too specific like and it's it's too it's too much of a trend to invest your money in in my opinion so yeah okay guys so that's it for this video um I went over a couple of the trends I know that there's probably a ton more um but these are the ones that I went over um if you guys want a part two let me know just so you guys you know can maybe have a feel of maybe what to invest in what not to invest in or if you just enjoyed the video also don't forget to give me a like and subscribe if you watched all the way through and if you enjoyed the video and i will see you guys in my next video toodles